Are you tired of shedding, breakage, not seeing your roots grow? I know you are probably feeling extremely stuck with your hair growth. I mean, that's why you're here. That's why you're watching this video. You want answers, a solution to your problems. And I'm gonna give that to you today. Because whether you are someone that maybe you feel like my hair is growing, I can see the length, but I'm not seeing the length, if you know what I mean. Or you could be thinking, my hair is forever the same length and it just doesn't grow. Or hey, maybe you're someone whose hair grows like a weed, you can't keep up, and you're just here for me, girl. No, I'm just here for you, girl. Well, if you are someone that is wishing to grow out their hair, keep watching this video because I will go into all of the details about hair growth. Hair growth from both the roots and length retention. All the info you need to know from best practices, the nutrients you need, a hair routine, products to use, and all that jazz so that you can achieve the locks and the length that you want. I hope you're all ready for a bunch of remarkable and trademarkable sayings. Now first I want to start by pointing out that there are two types of growth. There is root growth and then there is length retention. And there are different aids that we need to achieve both of these things. So first, let's start with the root growth, where it all begins. Healthy hair comes from a healthy self. Don't you mean scalp? Why yes, Amanda, that is true. But I also mean self. A healthy, nourished body and mind will produce hair that shines, TM. Our hair growth, along with other cellular functions of the body, perform best when we are our healthiest and our hormones heavily affect that. So if your hormones are currently out of whack, well then your hair growth cycles may be compromised. So making sure that our bodies, our bodies, are getting the essential vitamins and nutrients that we need will promote healthy hair growth. Here are some of the five vitamins and three nutrients that you need to promote growth. You can get these lovely nutrients by taking supplements or better yet, by eating food. Next, let's get into the nitty gritty about scalp care. Healthy hair begins with a healthy scalp. The most important thing here is having a dedicated scalp routine. Because let me ask you this, do you have a skincare routine for your face? Well then you should also have a scalp care routine for your scalp because scalp is skin. So I wanna talk about the best practices for a healthy scalp. There's about three things three essential things that you need. One, nourishment, nourishment and treatment. Two, stimulation. And three, clarification in any order. So allow me to go into detail about these three points. There are steps and products involved, so if you need to take notes, take notes. First, we're gonna start off with treatment and nourishment. Now the dangers of having dry scalp is dry hair and possibly breakage from the root. So whether your scalp is oily, dry, built up, or you have scalp conditions like psoriasis, dandruff, or eczema, taking action to treat these conditions will only benefit your hair growth. From personal experience, and I know most people with curly hair have a dry scalp. So for my dry, itchy, and kind of flaky scalp, once a week before I wash my hair, and before I cleanse it again and then worry about over drying my hair, I condition and treat and nourish my hair with this. This is from The Innate Life. This is a scalp treatment for normal scalp. So I've been using this one for a while and it nourishes my scalp with every single thing it needs. Like ingredients, we've got coconut oil, castor oil, shea butter, olive oil, all these different things, vitamin E, literally every nutrient, everything that's nourishing that your scalp would need. I massage it right into my scalp I leave it on for hours and then when I wash it, I usually have to wash it twice because otherwise it's like almost greasy up there. But it really helps to moisturize the follicles and your skin. And I have literally felt the difference where my roots are much softer than they used to be. My hair used to get a lot more wiry at the top and my scalp does not get flaky anymore. And it is key for anyone experiencing hair loss because it's got the castor oil, it's got your hobo oils, it's got everything you need. P.S. I have a video on dandruff versus dry scalp so if you're not sure which one you have, then you need to check out that video. This leads me into my next point, stimulation. Truth of the matter is, our scalps do not get enough care because we do not daily brush our hair 
or stimulate it as often as we should, as often as it needs. So by stimulating your scalp through things like scalp massaging, you are promoting blood flow to the scalp. Blood flow to the scalp means oxygen to your cells, which means healthy cell production and faster hair growth. And if you feel like you can't get right in there with your fingers to scalp massage, there's lots of tools. This is one of my favorite scalp massagers, as we can see here, this looped brush. Because not only does it scalp massage, but it also exfoliates. So this I would like to use before I put on the treatment to loosen up any dead skin flakes, to exfoliate those, and then nourish the scalp underneath with the scalp treatment. Yup, that's, that's the spot right there. Now after all that is done, we need some clarification. Let me clarify what I mean by clarification. You need to exfoliate and cleanse your scalp, again, as you would your skin. So as often as any buildup occurs, and everyone may be different, you need to make sure that you are letting your scalp breathe, exfoliating off any product buildup that you may have. And this is a scalp cleanser that I like to use, that I use right into my scalp to cleanse, and then I follow through with my hair conditioner and shampoo. But I know that I've taken care of my scalp care. And that's it. Nourishment, stimulation, and clarification. These are the three things that you need to be doing for healthy scalp. So now that we have a healthy scalp, we can focus on maintaining the length of our hair. The rest of your wash routine would begin. You would use your regular shampoo and conditioner. And since we're talking about length retention, I do like to use the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner because it will prevent your hair from breaking. Whether your hair is color treated, mechanically damaged, environmentally damaged, or just fine and fragile, these ones are really good to repair the bonds of your broken hair. Next, healthy hair. Hair, the hair, yes. This is what we're here for. So hair that has been compromised, hair that is a higher porosity from chemical, mechanical, or environmental damage, or hair that is naturally finer, fragile, and susceptible to more damage, you need to nurse the hair to keep it nice and strong. So let's go into those best practices. Number one, we've gotta keep the hair nourished. You need to be deep conditioning your hair at least once a week if you really want to grow it. So for me, my hair is dry and it is porous from lightning and color damage. I need both protein and moisture in my routine. Make sure you see my protein and moisture video if you're not sure which one your hair needs. So I try to get a good balance of both. One, I do like to moisturize. I wanna moisturize my hair first before I use protein to lock it in. A strictly moisture mask that I've been using lately is also from The Innate Life. So this is the herbal hair mask. This actually has natural detanglers in it. It's got slippery elm bark, and of course it has shea butter, sweet almond oil, it's got marshmallow root, and they're all certified organic ingredients. So I've really been liking to put this on my hair. And I have been using this weekly as I have my scalp treatment in on my ends before I shampoo as kind of like a detangler and a hair softener and a pre-shampoo treatment before I go in and cleanse it all off. And moving on. So I know from the hair mask I get my moisture. I like to make sure that I'm getting a balance of at least some protein in my routine by adding it in my styling products. These probably look familiar to you if you watch my videos. These ones always give me a good balance of protein and moisture because they all have small doses of protein in it. Not too much to go overboard, but enough to give your hair that bounce and that boost of protein. So this one I put in especially because my hair has been bleached and damaged. So this is the Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair, which is protein and heat protectant for diffusing. Then I've got my curl cream, and this has wheat protein in it, so that gives me strengthening and bounce to the curls. And then the Confixer Gel is my gel, it's my finisher, and it has Brazil nut protein and Maruku protein, to help strengthen. So all of these give me a small little dose of protein without going, going overboard and then helping me achieve my protein moisture balance. And last but certainly not least, you need to maintain your hair throughout the week as it starts to get drier. So every morning I get up and to refresh I take a little bit of a light oil. This is the Rose Hair Elixir from The Innate Life which smells like roses. And I like this because it gives me a blend of 15 organic oils, so it's going to cover all the bases, and it's got this little dripper. So I take two drops, mix it in my hands, and I just use it to smooth and tame frizz and flyaways, and just to rehydrate my hair throughout the week. Because hair that is hydrated has good elasticity, and good elastic hair does not snap off. And then one last point that I didn't want to point out because I know no one wants to hear this, but 
you need to trim your ends. Trimming your ends will guaranteed help you retain the length. Remember, it's better to have healthy hair than long hair. And healthy hair will grow long. So keep it healthy. And that's it. I'm done. I'm done. No, last, no, I got it all. Having said all that, allow me to close off this video with our comments of the week. Comments of the week is from Shannon. Thank you for saying the words that everybody's thinking. And our question of the week is from Amanda. Not my sister, Amanda who is asking how I lighten hair without bleach, which is how I lighten my sister Amanda's hair. I use what's called high lift color because I am a hair professional and I know what I'm doing. And you know one day in a future video I'll show you guys exactly how I do that on Amanda's hair. You'll just have to stay tuned. So make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel, turn on the little bell for notifications because every single Tuesday we put out new videos. And until next time, this is Mains by Mel. So, a lot of you guys have been commenting on my hair growth. And did you think my hair is healthy? My hair has gotten so long. How come my hair just doesn't grow? <laughs> it's actually a perfect salad. My hair just doesn't grow. Perfect. I feel so hippie. I feel so like. <laughs> I just needed to point that out because, well, your girl's gotta eat.